You listed. said you were playing uh, Lara Croft, right? I am. I'm playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, this is the third game in kind of the most recent reboot of Did this Lara come out Croft, the first last one. year? This one came out in November of last year, but I didn't... Or no, I'm sorry. It came out in September, September of last yeah, year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I didn't play it in September of last year because right. I wanted to wait and play the version that they were kind of advertising at the time with all the ray tracing oh, right. and all uh. of kind of like the newest... Um, the newest kind of NVIDIA RTX features. And I'm glad I did because the game looks phenomenal. Uh, I'm actually mm -hmm. playing it 4K uh, at a very good frame rate, 60 frames per second, no problem, with ray tracing turned on because it uses the new DLSS feature, which is kind of nice. like... Um, What's the GPU you know, you're using? Helps, uh, a 2080 Ti. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so... Maxed up. <laughs> yeah. The good one. <laughs> yeah, the good one. <laughs> The good one, um, but I gotta say the game looks phenomenal. Like it really, it's it's kind of breathtaking. You know, playing it in HDR, ray tracing, 4K. It's like it's just kind of stacking all of like those buzzwords on top of each other to a mm -hmm. point where like the game just looks stupid good. Wow. Um, but I don't like it as much as I've liked the previous two games in the series. The first game in like kind of this rebooted series was Tomb Raider, right? It was just called Tomb Raider, and it <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah. starred a, a young Lara Croft who was, you know, she was kind of stranded on this island and kind of just thrust into a situation that, you know, she wasn't ready for, she wasn't prepared for, and she had to kind of like learn how to, you know, fend for herself and, you know, do, you know, literally like learn how to climb mountains and shoot guns and hunt with a bow and arrow, like all that kind of stuff. And in the second one, Rise of the Tomb Raider, like she kind of came into herself and became a real badass. But this third one, it's like now she's just a fucking psychopath running around, like killing everything and stealing everything. Like it's it's very odd. Like the gameplay itself hasn't changed that much, right? They've added new features, like you can now climb like walls that are above your head, like upside down. And, you know, they've, they've added, like, small features like this. But for the most part, the game feels very similar to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Okay. Um, you know, the, to me, the 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 combat kind of has two modes to it. It has the initial stealth mode where you're sneaking around with either a silenced pistol or a bow and arrow. And you're just trying to pick guys off. And you can use kind of stealth moves. Like, you could climb a tree, shoot an arrow into a guy, and then yank him up into the tree and kill mm. him up there. Wow. Um, and there's, like, or you could jump down and knife him, like, stuff like that. And that is actually really fun and satisfying. You can cover yourself in mud and hide in, like, dark shadows. Like, really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. But as soon as an enemy spots you, the combat just becomes really kind of boring. And, like, you, there's no real cover mechanic. There's... It feels clumsy. Like, Lara's animations don't feel great, like, hmm. when you're actually shooting weapons. Like, it just feels like you're just kind of, like, you're just aiming and shooting your way through. Almost like Uncharted, where Un Uncharted is such a cool game, but the combat always felt like I'm just trying to get through this combat to get to the next yeah, part of the game. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, like, it feels a lot like that. So if you can avoid being spotted, the combat is really cool. If you get spotted, hmm. yeah. <laughs> you just have to kill everybody. Right. Yeah. In a clumsy way. Like, you lose all the coolness of <laughs> Lara slurk, like, lurking in the shadows. But the really weird part is the story. So Lara, you, Lara has now, like, kind of become the Tomb Raider, right? Okay. And, you know, in the opening parts of the game, she goes to Mexico, and she st steals, like, a relic out of a tomb and starts, like, a natural catastrophe. Or, well, that's the, at least the story in her head, is that... Because I stole this relic out of this tomb, it has started this natural catastrophe that killed, like, an entire town of people. Wow. And these bad things are going to continue happening unless I, Lara Croft, fix it. And it feels like, as the game player, I feel like, Lara... You're crazy. Like you're not. That, you're not like a god. You know. You yeah, see, yeah. These are two things that happened unrelated of each other, and you're. You know. You're. You're putting yourself in the position of being like the only person in the world who can like fix everything wrong with the world, and then you kind of travel around South America, meeting like uh, indigenous people. Would 
and there's like the kind of this cool feature where the indigenous people speak the indigenous languages, but Lara always speaks English. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> it's so weird to like the you know you hear the person speaking in their native language, right? And there's subtitles so you can understand what they're saying. Mm -hmm. But then Lara just speaks in English, and they understand. And like. <laughs> That's very weird. I mean, they have a conversation. Okay, and she's very concerned about you know protecting, um, you know these indigenous people of South America. But meanwhile, she's murdering people left and right, like hot, like thousands of people, and anything she sees, she steals. Anything, <laughs> you know, she's walking around a village of. You know, like native people, and Just she's talking stuff. to them, and there's there's questing. But anytime she sees something flash on the ground, she's like a raccoon. She just fucking scoops it up. <laughs> like it, it's so bizarre because like the Lara that they had in Tomb Raider and in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it just it felt like this natural progression, and you could really get on board with her, and you felt for her as a character. Yeah, but it completely <clears throat> breaks down in Shadow because. She just feels like she's unhinged. Like kind of sounds things like playing that she Assassin's says Creed. and the things that she does are so different. Huh. Kind of sounds like when you're playing it's Assassin's really Creed, you're like, ah, whatever, I'll take this, I'll steal that, I'll kick that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. It almost yeah. sounds like they're I, mean, I don't know where this cause because obviously this is this is since it's Crystal Dynamics again still, right? They this yes. they yeah. So it almost feels like I mean I I like the first one they did, but the way you describe it, it sounds much more like what you do in Uncharted. Like, obviously, Nathan Drake, he'll pick up anything that's shiny. You know, you go around, you grab a sure. coin, you grab a pot. Uh, whereas, you know, when, my my memory of Tomb Raider was always very much more like the things you picked up were typically, if you were going to collect it, invariably it would have more value, right? It's like, you know, this is a very, like, I don't know, it's, it's like a jade dragon that's been hidden in like, like a temple. Like, this is what I pick up. Yeah, exactly, right? And everything you, you collect has much more meaning to it. Whereas... Uh, there was definitely like as you kind of progress more so in Uncharted, there was like you know anything shiny, just grab it. So it definitely sounds, and you know, and, and also the way you kind of describe combat being like it's kind of you know diverging into this weird mess when suddenly you get seen. It definitely sounds almost like they're kind of like they're losing their they're losing their kind of Tomb Raider identity. Yeah, identity and crisis. They're, they're stuck in this yeah, and they're stuck mm -hmm. in this weird place where they're like, uh, what do we do? How do we get back to it? I know we'll just go and make Uncharted. It's like because then it's not. You know, Tomb Raider's always been good because it's it, you know it is what it is. It was obviously the the original one beforehand, but now it just sounds like they're more they're going more towards something else. I don't know. It just the the yeah. new ones haven't appealed to me as much. Like I played the I played the Tomb Raider remake, and then I played half through the second one, and then the, right. the new one. I played it at like an event, uh, uh, E3 or Gamescom, and then I was like, Ooh, not sure they want to play this one, and then just didn't really <laughs> <laughs> didn't yeah. really uh, try that one. So yeah. I, yeah, Actually, question. Is there like puzzle solving and interesting? Puzzles? Oh yeah, there's tombs, of course. You know, it's Tomb Raider, and are you go in and like, there's challenge tombs that are very much about like a puzzle or two that you have to figure out. Some of them are more satisfying than others. They're they're kind of hit or miss. Sometimes okay. it feels like just you're, you're pushing buttons randomly until you get the right answer, and sometimes it's like, okay, there's an actual code here that I have to decipher and try and hmm. figure this out. Um, I don't think it's the strongest showing, to be honest, as far as like the tombs yeah. go. Except those visuals. Visually, the, visually, it looked. There's one tomb that you go into. It's not actually a tomb. It's well, I guess it's a tomb. It's under a church in Peru, and it you end up like finding a secret ac access under this library or church or whatever it is, and it ends up being this kind of like this Christian kind of cult area where you know these people like created this cult like 300 years ago some freemason type just, of stuff it's filled with like mu like posed mummified bodies and crosses just like <clears throat> the all the crosses are kind of like pointing inwards toward the middle of the tunnel like this okay. like lining the thing and it's just super dramatic and the puzzle there is you have to like using mirrors kind of guide the light toward each next door and kind of try and figure that Illuminati. out Illuminati. um it looks unbelievable. <laughs> the puzzle is very fucking obvious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very obvious. <laughs> um, but I mean, like, spectacular to look at. Um, but again, it's like Lara herself, like, even the bad guy, the main bad guy's name is Dominguez. 
and you find that out like in the first five seconds, so it's not a spoiler. But his motivation is to save. I think the name of the the name of the lost civilization is Petiti, right? Those are these Petitans who still live out in the jungle. They're one of those like uncontacted um, tribes out there. Okay, and they're they're still you know they still live like kind of like a Mayan lifestyle. Mm. And his whole like motivation is to save, you know, that way of life. And that's kind of Lara's motivation too. But meanwhile, Lara is literally like <laughs> murdering everybody, like, murdering and stealing yeah. everything in her path. It's just bizarre. It's just so it's so hard to like get into the game, you know. And yeah, hmm. you know, like the climbing still feels fun. Like I always preferred the Tomb Raider style of climbing, where you actually have to, you know, make her jump in the correct way and kind of like mm. use the web, use the like the the kind of ice hooks mm -hmm. correctly and like there's actually like, some skill to making her navigate her environment as opposed to a charger where it just feels like you press in her direction and he magnetically kind of right. crawls mm -hmm. up a wall kinda... you never feel like you're in danger when you're crawling around in uncharted yeah it feels like you're somewhat on uh, rails but man the world building is not great in this game and Lara hmm. croft's character is so it it's like a glorified weird. tech demo for ray tracing yeah, in that way, it's a huge success. <laughs> <laughs> like the game looks well awesome. <laughs> done, Crystal Dynamics. Yeah. My God. <laughs> Nvidia says <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly, it didn't come out till March, though. All those features didn't come out till March. Really? It took them that long to Weird. Them Maybe it was like yeah. a team that Nvidia like put together to put those features in the game. Maybe right. It's like they sent a team over to Crystal Dynamics to actually. Uh, Get all this stuff working. Yeah, they're like, mm -hmm. we see the game here. It could be a great tech demo. <laughs> Let's make that happen. <laughs>